Hi everyone, this is the weaving project I'm working on today. Isn't it cute? It says thanks, nice present for Thanksgiving or any other reason you might like to thank somebody. This design concept is from Julie Renee. Thank you, Julie, for sharing this. Uh, for this project, we need 20 chocolate or brown, whatever you wanna call it. I'm probably gonna call it brown. 20 brown, 20 orange, eight red, six yellow. We're doing it on a pro loom. You string it up this way, brown, orange, orange, brown, orange, orange, then brown, orange, brown, orange, brown, across the rest. But make sure you do these first two parts like that. Okay, I wanna remind you of the loop versus the leg because we're gonna be doing a lot of loop versus legs. This is one chocolate loop. It has two legs. So on this pattern, the bottom third and the top third, we're going to be doing a split loop. So you can see how instead of like two orange loops right there, it's an orange and a brown. So we're it's splitting the loop. Whereas in the middle, we're not gonna be splitting any loops, but we are gonna be doing some floats. Floats are like this one here. In order to make the letters, we had to put the uh, loop over several loops underneath. So these are gonna be split loop, but this middle part is not. What else do I want to show you? I weave with a knitting needle. You don't have to do that, but I like to. The size I'm using is what size? Size six, I don't knit, I don't know anything about knitting, but I use a knitting needle. Um, this is my new um, weaving hook. If you like these uh, wooden um, handles, which are easier on your hands, you can get them on Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com. Of course, I use a crochet hook. When it gets too tight, I use a safety pin. Some people use hair clips. Now, this is my latest thing that I really like. This, this is used for straightening rows. I really love it. People use all kinds of stuff for straightening rows. This is what it looks like in the package. The company is Boy, B-O-Y-E, and it's called Ergo, like ergonomic, Ergo Loom Tool. I got this at Walmart, but if you punch in the barcode, which I'm gonna say to you right now, get your pen, 0706, Five nine nine six five one seven three. Let me do it one more time. Zero seven zero six five nine nine six five one seven three. If you just stick that in Google, it'll pull up all the places where you can get it, including Amazon. And these are not expensive. And I use my knitting needle sometimes to straighten the rows with this thing. It's pretty nifty. Anyways, people have been asking, so I wanted to, to show you that. Now, is there anything else I'm supposed to tell you? I don't think so. Okay, we are gonna start in the bottom right corner with a red loop. We are gonna do split loop. So we're gonna go under one leg, one of the chocolate legs, and we're gonna go over two under two, all the way across, over two, under two, over two, under two. You see how it makes two colors instead of one? Pretty cool. All the way across. And we are gonna end over the last one leg. Get your red loop. <clears throat> All right, the next one is gonna be yellow. We're gonna do split loop again. But instead of starting under one, we're gonna start over one leg. Over one leg, under two, over two, under two, over two, all the way across.
Get your yellow. <clears throat> so this is how you use this tool. <clears throat> People use all kinds of different stuff for this. Some people use combs. Sometimes I use my fingers. That works too sometimes, but there are times when I really like this thing. It's a nice little handy gizmo to have around and it's not too expensive. All right, we're gonna do another split loop under one leg, over two, under two, over two, under two, etc. <coughs> Last over one. <clears throat> Get another yellow. guys twisting up a little bit keep these guys kind of straightish all right we're gonna do another row opposite so we're gonna go over one leg under two over two uh, etc all the way across Get a yellow. Obviously, you can do this in whatever colors you like. I just thought it'd be nice to have Thanksgiving type colors, but you could obviously make a a thanks pot holder or weave for somebody to thank them for anything, right? And you could make whatever colors you want. You're gonna do the opposite, under one leg, over two, under two, over two, under two, etc. Red. Another yellow. Opposite, over the leg, under two, over two, under two, over two, etc. up here in the oranges. There we go. And twist them. All right. Another yellow.
And then one more before we get to the word. We're gonna do a red. <clears throat> Opposite. Under one, over two, under two, over two, under two. Gotta watch it a little bit on the end where there's a couple bunches of orange. Just watch what you're doing. See what I'm saying? Right here where the all that orange is. further I'm going to use my nifty tool here and my knitting needle like this gotta be patient that's for sure right pretty pretty slick you see how this red is arching here like that, you don't want that. Want it to be a little bit straighter than that. I just accidentally found this tool. I was at Walmart and I was looking by the crochet hooks and I saw this. And I don't even think this tool is necessarily made for what I'm using it for. But it doesn't bother me. Sometimes you can use your fingers. Just depends on how intric intricate it is, you know. Fingers are fine too, but you might find that <clears throat> this tool comes in handy, which I think it is gonna come in handy when we start working on the letters. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are on row eight. So we are gonna switch over to brown. All right, we're gonna go under four legs. One, two, three, four, look at that, under four legs. Then we're gonna do 19 two legs, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we're gonna go under four legs. So we're gonna go under these orange ones, over the two brown, under the four orange, I do that right, oops. Sorry guys, <laughs> it's opposite, it's over four legs. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna edit out my mistakes. You need to see that I'm not the queen of anything. Okay, over four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> over four, and then 19 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we're gonna go over the four orange, under the two black, over the four orange, and under the two black. And you need a brown loop for this one here. Notice how we're not splitting any loops. We're not splitting anything. We might be floating over things, but we're not splitting things, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> the next one is gonna be orange. Get yourself an orange. Pack, pack, pack. I'm probably gonna pack these down again later. All right, under four legs. Then we're gonna do 19 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then we're gonna go under the four orange, over the two brown, and then we're gonna go under the last six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the last six legs. So pay attention to that. We're gonna use our orange loop. These floating, these floats make the letters. That's why we do them. Okay, get another brown. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go over two legs, then we're gonna go under four legs, over four legs. Then we're gonna do 16 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then we're gonna go under four, over two, under four, over two. Okay, double check, over two, under four, over four, 16 twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, under four legs, over two, under four, over two. Get your brown loop. <clears throat> okay. another orange, <coughs> excuse me. We are gonna do 21 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> excuse me, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then we're gonna go over the four orange, under the two brown, over the four orange, and under the two brown. <coughs> With your orange loop. Okay, the next one is going to be brown again. All right, we're going to do 21 twos, <clears throat> starting with over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
2021, and then we're gonna go under the four orange, over two brown, under four orange, over two brown. come back later and pack with my tool. <clears throat> this guy's jumping off. Get back on there, dude. Okay, we're gonna do another orange. Under two legs, over two legs, under four legs, over four legs. Under six legs, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over two, under two, 12 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Over the orange, under the brown, over the orange, under the brown. Okay, so I'm just gonna re re revamp that. Under two, over two. Under four, legs over four legs, under six legs. And then we have tw uh, 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Over four legs, under two, over four, under two. Get your orange loop. Get your popcorn. <clears throat> Those are called floats when you go over three at a time or when you go under six legs at a time that's called a float that's how you make the letters <clears throat> pack 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 I'm gonna use my fingers right this minute whatever you want to do for packing all right, we're gonna go over two legs. <coughs> then we're gonna go under four legs, over four legs, under four legs, over four legs. Then we're gonna do under two, over two, under two, over two, under four legs, over four legs, under two legs, over six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then under the four orange legs, over the two browns, under the four orange, and over the two browns. <clears throat> Whoops. Get another orange ready. I like to put them on my wrist so I know what I'm doing next. Hardy har har. You can see with these floats that it becomes uh, even more necessary to try and keep these things straight, right? <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go under two legs. And we're gonna go over four legs. Under four legs, over four legs, under four legs. Then we're gonna do 12 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're gonna go over the four orange, under the two brown, over the four orange, under the two brown. You can see how the letters are starting to form over here. Pretty cool.
Okay, we're gonna need another brown loop. Gonna do over two legs and then under six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over two legs, under two legs, over six legs. Under two, over two. Then we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're gonna go under the four orange, over the brown, two, over the four orange, excuse me, under the four orange and over the brown. So uh, let me just go over that again. Over the first two legs, under six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Over two legs, under two legs, over six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we do 12 twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Under four, over two, under four, over two. <clears throat> Okay, get another orange. All right, we're gonna do 21, two, starting with under. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Then we're gonna go over the four orange, under the brown, two, over the four orange, under the brown. Right. Next one is going to be another brown. <clears throat> Oops. Over two legs, under two legs. Then over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then five twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then over six again six legs, under two, then over six again, then five twos, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna go under two, over two. So. That one was a little bit of a dilly, so let's let's re revisit it. Over two legs, under two legs, over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna do five twos. One, two, three, four, five. Over six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Under two. Over six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five twos. One, two, three, four, five. Over six. There's the six there. Under two, over two.
Gonna get another orange, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna fix these guys in a minute. Under two, over four, 18 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Then we're going to go under four, over four, and then under four. So let's do that again. Under two legs, over four, under two. Oh, we're going to do 18 twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 twos. Under four, over four legs, under four legs. When we get out of doing the words, it's gonna be easier because we're gonna be back to plain old split loop. Very cool. We only have one more row to go before we can do that. <clears throat> All right, another brown. Over four, we're gonna do 19 twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Then we're going to go over four, under two, over four, under two. Ooh, it's getting tight. Time to switch over to my safety pin. But first, the dreaded straightening of the rows. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Next batch of colors. Get your knitting needle and if you have this tool, whatever you want to use. My tool. Mm -hmm. Even after you do this, sometimes it moves. No, not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> all the time it moves. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I mean, you know, it depends on you, but I just like to straighten them out. They're not supposed to be arching. They're supposed to be straightish. I like this tool. When I first got it, I I didn't think I was going to like it, but now I like it, especially when you've got little spaces to, if you're just doing simple weave, it's not too hard to keep things straight, but when you start doing split weave and floating and all this other stuff, it might be nice to have this guy. Like I said, I just accidentally saw it at Walmart. I didn't even know what it was supposed to be for. But that's how you uh, learn, learn new things, I guess. Try things out. Now, 
Now see how far up that orange is? If you have things arcing like that, like an arc or an arch, well, first of all, it doesn't look as nice, but second of all, when you get up to the top, you have less room for what you're doing. See how these floats, they, they move easily. So that's why you gotta go back down there. See how high up they are? Yeah. Especially with the words that we've got here, you wanna try to be able to see the words as best you can. It is a little bit rustic, but still, you wanna try and do as best you can. Got to be a little bit careful where you poke this tool because you don't want to rip your rip your loops, but I think it's pretty doable. See how that went under six legs? That's how they make the letters. Here. Pull these float guys down. Be a nice hostess gift for Thanksgiving. Or if you have any reason to thank anybody, you can swap out the colors and just make a, a thanks weave for some other reason. may not be perfect, but it's better than if you don't do it, you know. You don't want your lines going up like this. Right after we do this, we're just gonna go back to split weave so we don't have to worry about any more floats. Yay! So it's gonna be fairly straightforward. All right. So, voila. That's better. T-H-A-N-K-S. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, we're gonna get a red, and I'm gonna use a safety pin. People use hair clips um, when it gets too tight, that's what I do. Under one leg. Over 
over two, under two, all the way across. you got to stretch these loops a little bit and we're going to end on an over one right. Did I do that right let me see here two 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, then get a yellow. We're going to do the reverse. So since we went under, we're going to go over one leg. Over one leg, under two. And then just keep going under two, over two, all the way across with your split loop. See how it's orange and brown? Kind of gives it extra pizzazz. And it gives a, a little bit of a solid frame to, to this floating thing, which is... <clears throat> the floating thing is more unstable than you know, regular weave or split weave. So it's nice to have some tight weaving around it to kind of keep it where it's supposed to be. Let's see, over two, under two. No, I did something funny here. Over two, under two, aha. Uh -huh. See, when you get these oranges all together, it gets confusing. Okay, under two, and then end up like this. Get a red. <clears throat> I'm gonna go under the first leg, and then twos all the way across, two, two, Get another yellow. Might have to pack. Nope, not no might about it. <laughs> Look at this. Orange, orange. Oh my goodness. Wow.
Okay, see if you don't if you don't pack these down, you have less room at the top here for the other loops that you're about to weave. So not only does it look better when you straighten out your rows, but you you need the room. All right, get your yellow, do the opposite over one leg, and then do twos all the way across. Next row is going to be red. Just do the opposite under one leg and then twos all the way across, over two, under two, etc. <laughs> oh, we have a little escapee, and we also have a thread. Where was I? Yeah, just twos all the way across, just like before. It's getting tight. Remember when you get to these oranges that are bunched up together down here to pay attention. <clears throat> get some out here. Okay, we're gonna go over the one leg. Probably gonna have to start sewing it at this point. That's okay. Then twos all the way across. Okay. 
I can't even imagine trying to get a hook through this. Now, maybe some people are geniuses and they can do it, but that's not me. As I said, some people use hair clips for this as well. So whatever makes you happy. I like safety pins, but hair clips work very well. There's always something to be thankful for, right? Simple things, water, food, a roof, a loom, <laughs> loops for your loom, friends, creativity, Last one's going to be red, but we are going to have to pack these guys down. Let me see here. Around, around. We are going to need the space. See? Woo! Got to have room. See how that red is bowing up there? That's what you need to fix. When I first started doing this, <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. And then when I got done with one pot holder and I saw all these bowing things and I thought, you're, there's something you're not doing right. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that, but that's all right, you know. That's how you learn. I'm still learning constantly. There's so many weavers who are so wonderful. And I learn a lot from them all the time. See how high up that red is? We still need to squeeze one more row in. Yes, we do. But if you don't have the room, you can't do it. Right? It's gonna be tight as it is. As it is.
All right, the red one is gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna go under this one leg and then twos like the rest of the time. There is a little ledge under the loom, so sometimes you gotta kind of work with it to do this last row or the last couple rows. Now, some people, um, they just uh, weave in the last loop in the back. They don't want anything hanging of any kind. Some people use the loop, the last loop to hang with. Some people put rings on. There's all kinds of rings. Some people use wooden rings. Some people use, I guess some people use plastic rings. I use metal key rings. They look like this. You can get them on Amazon. I think they're an inch. I like them a lot. But you have to suit yourself. Sometimes you gotta stretch these guys a little bit. good you can still tighten it up if you want I mean because of the floats and all that the pattern is going to constrict so you don't want to like lose your mind too much because it's going to fold in on itself because of the floats you know so don't go too crazy with this They're going to move around because they're floating, right? Pretty cute. All right, I'm going to start in the top right corner with my crochet hook. Lift the second over, pull it through, and then I'm going to put the first one back on to keep the tension. All right. All right. I like these uh, keychain rings, these metal keychain rings. They are, um, they're thinner than the wood rings. I mean, it depends. I mean, the wood, the wooden rings. They have a different look to them, of course. You might like the look of the wooden rings better. But I, I guess I'm a pragmatist. I like these metal ones because they're thinner and 
I also have this idea in my head that metal might not burn as easily as wood. That may have nothing to do with anything. But it's just a thought. Wood rings, excuse me, wood rings are probably fine. I have used them before. But I really like these keychain things. They're nice and thin. You have to have patience for weaving, that's for sure. And you have to have some detail orientation or, or patience with details because there's a lot of details when you're doing this. Some people use uh, binder clips to go around to hold the uh, pot holder in place. So you can do that if you want. Do whatever makes you happy. Last corner. <clears throat> I like to use my first anchor loop as my final loop. 
That's the loop you can hang it from, or you can reinforce the loop. I like to just drop a ring right on it. I'll show you just a second here. All right, so this brown is my first anchor loop, so I'm gonna use it as my hanging loop. So I'm gonna pull it through like that. I'm gonna take these other guys off. Okay. Pull these guys back through. Okay, if you pull this up a little bit, you drop the ring on it like a hula hoop, then you spread the loop, excuse me, yeah, spread the loop around the ring like it's a shawl around your shoulders, voila. And then since I pulled it, gotta put it back. There you have it. It's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you try it. Have a good day.